Well, it is the day before World Time Attack Challenge 2022. The last couple of weeks have been out of control crazy. I kind of wish now I'd vlogged everything every day, but we've just been literally too busy to even pick up a camera and do any vlogging. So I thought I'd start today. So GDR is behind me. I picked it up from Diverse Garage this morning with a new right-hand side side skirt because it was damaged. Uh, that's ready for flying 500. Uh, on the hoist behind me, we have our GR Yaris. The Yaris is pretty much ready to go to World Time Attack, just need to clean. Um, that's going to be on display. Who knows? Might do Flying 500 in it if they let me sneak that in. Uh, and now I'm about to head off to DNA Autosport to pick up the Supra, which they have been wheel aligning this morning, uh, ready for World Time Attack to enter in Club Sprint. And Jet 200 is over at Red Sun. They're doing the last couple of touches on it. They're going to load it in the trailer and meet us at the track tonight. So today is about uh, getting all of our trade stand equipment ready, all of our film gear ready. We have to go over to the track at 6, start setting up, start unloading. Big day, let's go. So just picking up the Supra from DNA Autosport. Uh, they've done their setup on the Supra. Uh, looks pretty good, got the adjustment we need out of it. So I'm pretty excited to drive this thing at World Time Attack and Club Sprint with a proper alignment. Not a factory alignment, a proper alignment for track work. So gotta head back to the office now. We're gonna put a race seat in this and a harness. Um, Nick Adams gonna come help do that. And then we're gonna go start loading all the gear up for the trade stand, for the pits, everything. So it's gonna be a big day, let's do it. So just got back to the shop. First driving the Supra since it's had its wheel alignment from DNA Autosport. Uh, I could tell it's a much sharper front end almost instantly, but it's raining and heavy traffic in Sydney. So can't tell you what it's like handling wise, but I can tell you this, it's still completely livable as a daily driver with the alignment that's in it. So looking forward to see how fast the track uh what else i would have loved to have filmed the drive but in australia very illegal to hold the camera and film while you're driving and unlike america they will look at our youtube channel find us and find us so sorry american viewers even though i have the coordination to hold the camera and drive way too illegal here in australia so i couldn't show it but let's keep getting ready all right so we just had a drum of e85 delivered from power plus ta-da we have vacuumed out the yaris that's ready to go over to the track GDR just needs to get vacuumed out. That's ready to go to the track. We've got heaps of equipment getting ready. Stock for the trade stand getting ready. Supplies. Uh, and we've still got yet to do today is fit up the seat to the Supra. See, so yeah, there's a lot going on. A lot. So this is sort of working? Yes, it is. Sort of. Sort of. Sort of. Backyard job now. So in case you're wondering what we're doing, we're putting a, a race seat in the Supra. Um, I thought a modern car with 4,000 airbags in it would be the safest option. Uh, but I have been instructed that the regulations for World Time Attack and Motorsport Australia's safety regulations for an FIA sanctioned time attack event now mean that you must run a four-point harness in every single car and you must have the seat that can accommodate it. And the factory super seat does not accommodate a four-point harness, so I have to put a race seat in for two days. So basically, you have to do $1,500 to $2,000 worth of work to just do two days of racing at World Time Attack in your streetcar. So, um, gotta do what you gotta do, right? Streetcar class. <laughs> <laughs> Told you I had fans. One. One. No, I got two. I got three fans. I got three fans. You have to pay for them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have a race seat with purple harness and a blue harness bar. Um, not first preference, but that's what we had in stock. Good to go. Van's loaded up for the first trip. These guys are gonna get the trailer. Me and Nick are gonna drive bright orange cars to the track that won't attract any attention at all, will they? Street legal, it's a street car. Street yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. So the Yaris doesn't attract any attention at all. Didn't you know? No. All right, we've still got this for tomorrow. Got fuel, did you finish filling up the GDR? Yep. Sweet. All right, tell me if you think this car is loud. So in race trim, the Yaris is rather loud. Titanium exhaust, no mufflers, no interior. It's not a pleasant car to drive around in. Dog box, front LSD, you feel like you're driving a WIC car. It's pretty fun when you want it to be, but at the same time, for normal city driving, eh, not so much. So we're about to hit peak hour traffic in the rain to head to World Time Attack, let's go.
Alright, we made it. Uh, me and Nick got followed by Highway Patrol. That was fun. Uh, we've signed on and all right, I've signed on for Flying 500 and Club Sprint. So now Nick is going to prepare the Supra with its stickers and get it scrutineered for me while we unload the trade stand and the boys will be here with Jet 200 very soon. So, you know, just a small operation. Streaker. Don't just straighten up. All right, so we had to disappear and do a media brief with Newlon for tomorrow's shoot. So just to add to our workload at World Time Attack, we have a corporate shoot in the morning, but our pit has got our cars in it. The Supra has been scrutinized. Uh, Nick is the crew chief for this car, so he sorted it out. What did he have to do? Basically get the tow hooks on, uh, get the window banner on, you can see. Scrutinized, window banner. We had to put a couple of stickers on for Yokohama. Obviously put the tow straps and stuff on. So. Uh, she good, right, Nick? Streaker. Streaker. Our, our last minute seat passed. It passed. Yeah, so we're good. good. Purple harnesses is a bit weird, but you know. She actually really enjoyed the purple harnesses. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the 200. So, 200 is here. Boys dropped it off. Has a isolator now installed here. Um, it should be all ready to go. I think we're just going to put the tow hook on in the morning that we just forgot to put on, get the splitter on. But as you can see, we're all set up in the pit. We've got some pretty cool cars in our pit. Uh, Peter Owens S15 from Melbourne, awesome car, check it out. VE, sequential, big aero from Top Stage, so pretty cool car. But check this out, a brand new BRZ, Pro Speed Racing. How cool is that? Already got STI brakes on it, already got the uh, STI aero bits on it and the STI wing, love it. This thing is awesome, check it out. Jimmy, what's happening? What's going on, mate? All right, we're, right. we're vlogging. We're just yeah. we're, vlogging. we're kind of like losers. We're vlogging. Vlogging. I'm looking at some some uh, maybe potentially champions here. <laughs> so no, nah, no, we haven't got that much in, mate. This, I just want to get. I just want to go sub 45s and get booted off. Yeah. Yeah. No cage. No cage in this one. No, no, no. It's my street car, bro. I drove. We drive it around. It was the night before World Time Attack, and every creature is staring. Everything's <laughs> broken still. <laughs> They're working away. Check that out, boys. Legit GT300 car. Dale's car. This is awesome. He used to have the uh, S15 GT car. Now he's got this GT300. So still needs two turbos, but other than that, it's pretty good. All right, the wine fueled racing crew, Brian's here. They have a simulator set up. What is it? A Seto Corsa? A Seto Corsa with an Evo 8 time attack car on it. Oh. Um, testing out the PE pedal box. <laughs> <laughs> now, what are we in? We're in the Scorch S15, right? <laughs> no. What are we in? Evo. Oh, we're in the Evo. Yes. Oh, wow. Evo time Which one? Is it a specific one or just no. an Evo? Just an Evo time right. attack. What lap time have you done? Uh, 19.7. So it's pretty good. I did a 22. Is that crap, okay, or shit? My son that's 11 does 121s. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> we are back at the shop to do the last of loading the van up for the morning. Uh, and I'll take the van home, come here in the morning, pick up the GDR, and boom, let's go. It's not too much to load up, that's about it. Just a bit of this, a bit of this. So yeah. So we've already got 20 staff, five customers to work for, three cars to race and a trade stand. But to make our life even more interesting, this morning we have a shoot with Newlon out on track between eight and 10. So we're getting ready for that now. Things looking pretty fancy. Got the Supra going chase car. Tom's setting that up now. Inchy, hi Inchy. Yeah. He is getting the FS7 ready. So another lot of gear. So much gear, it's like Western Sydney. Getting some onboards ready. 
So we're doing the whole production company thing this morning and then by the afternoon we'll be back to being Motive Video again. That's our life. Let's do it. Hi Grub. Hey! We're here! Hey Hogo. You ready? I'm ready. Yeah. Yeah. How are you guys? How are you doing? Morning, morning. Um, you, do you want to sign in? <laughs> Should I have looked in the mirror? You look Porter? amazing. Correct. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you do look how professional. <laughs> I guess so. Dorsey, you see how professional he looks? Dorsey, give us a wave, mate, for the big day on the stage. Tap here Industries is making a Christopher. Check this out. It's a 3D printed exhaust tip. Dorsey's pulled out all the stops this weekend. <laughs> the hat makes it, bro. Does it? It does. Yeah. It's like, you look like a 70s Jackie race car Stewart, driver. Mate, yeah. Jackie. This, Maddie Hill. You need like vintage overalls for it. I do, hey, and then just the goggles. Like, yeah. My boys and get Even the sunglasses work. What an amazing vehicle. I feel like I'm at the start of the 1960s Le Mans race. Have you ever seen that meme where it's a Bugatti and they say, how do you film it? Man, like this, this definitely has the the recipe to be one of the coolest things we ever freaking do. Oh yeah! The line up of cars <laughs> we're about to film. Like literally, track to ourselves and just get to shoot sick cars. This is living the dream, I think they say. Like, what even is real life right now? Yeah, like a year and a half ago, you were sitting in a bloody security office. Yeah, working night shift. Not working night like, shift. Custom freaking. F1 cars, strapped into the back, cars, strapped into the back of a van like a bloody piece of equipment with a with a fully sick. Oh yeah, you got a yep. bloody a toe strap there to hold yourself in. That's right, I won't die Did if I pull that. I'll just get severely hurt. Yeah, yeah, probably be a little maimed, but it's all right. Anything for the shot. That's it. As long as we get the shot, we don't give a. Yeah. Cameraman are consumable items. We are. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we that's just, used to me. We'll just okay, 3D okay. print a new one later. Yeah. Didn't you get that break? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were at... Just high vest off. You were in the, the toilet. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's in that paperwork that you signed. Yeah, yeah. That we paperwork. always read. Yeah. <laughs> you signed something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I'm so excited. It's going to be good. We couldn't have a more qualified driver, I think. <laughs> How many film shoots have you done now? <laughs> Enough. <laughs> More than everyone I'm pretty else. confident you're gonna get the shot, bro. More than everyone else here. Look at this. I was saying earlier, you know that meme of like uh, how they filmed the Bugatti Veyron yeah, and yeah, it was yeah. like a Supra? Yeah, exactly. That's you right now, bro. Yeah. This is insane. I mean, this is probably not that novel for you. No. <laughs> this is just normal day at work. It's standard day at work. <laughs> exactly. So what, are you, so what are you actually doing right now? You're just working out your shots? Uh, right now we're just doing a lap because yep. we're shooting out the back of the van Yep. Um, with all six cars lined up. So, because I'm front mount, I can't be behind them so we don't see the car. See yep. The camera. That's insane. That's how you make an oil commercial, mate. Oh, yeah, mate. <laughs> New lot, best oil out. It looks like the start of the most obscure race ever. You know, if it was like a video game and everyone's just picked random cars. Yeah. <laughs> Such a video game. Park up, brief people. Shut it off for a bit. Entering into that, coming out, but when you come out of it, remember you need to drift out. And as you drift out, rather than go into a mungee, yep. it needs to be like a drift out wide and straighten up to, but to stay over to the left so the F1 car can come down the right. Into the ripple strip and then straighten yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Back again. You have to loop all the way around to here, stop here with us so you don't ruin our shot and wait for me to wave you through. through but you can right? cut through, you know those cones where you saw turn yeah, four? Yeah, yeah. But the problem is you can't cut through there to do the hairpin, yeah. you've got to go the whole way. Yeah. Cool? Yeah. Just chill on the way there. These first couple of times you go now, no cameras, but yours are rolling. Yeah. So you can go do a couple of those um, and then just bear in mind you have to stop here and let me make sure these are clear of the area we need them yeah. and then I'll let you go again. 
But if you want to go... If you want to go now, go. Got it? Perfect. Yeah. Hey, Beardo, what do you think of the sound of those cars? Oh, just... Oh, car noises. Just... It gives you a proper muscle, doesn't oh. it? <laughs> you feel good in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> I think for our shot, what looks better, Hinchy? You over there with that sh looking that way, because that's pretty shitty grass, or that side looking that way? What's going to be better? Like, yeah, pulls out, he goes like this, and you look at him and go... And that's all you need to know, and then as soon as you go like that, look straight again. I count down three. You don't need to start your car, by the way. Three, two, one, go. And... <laughs> You know what that looks like? Yeah. Can you do it better? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think my ears yeah. popped a bit just then. <laughs> Jeez, he came out wide, look. Yeah, How's it feel having a car drive around your four million dollar handmade car? <laughs> like, like it's this early, hey? My yeah. brain hasn't kicked Yeah, in. the coffee hasn't set in yet. That's right. <laughs> I'm here to help. <laughs> I've got responsibility, you know? That's why you're on the big bus, mate. Yeah, mate. I get paid in Vegemite sandwiches and cans of Coke. You get Vegemite sandwiches? Yeah, it's in, you, mate, you need to negotiate your contract better. <laughs> <laughs> cameras too? Which nah, one? it's just a phone. Oh, boo. <laughs> Is that a ZL1? I don't know. I just got given it. What are you doing? Mad, mad. Hey, um, what, where, have you been to Bunnings? Yeah. Bunnings, oh. fixing time attack. Like $170 Bun later. Bunnings? Bought, bought half of Bunnings, yeah. Oh, I don't know if I've got any that money left anymore, bro. I'm, I'm broke. That's what happens when you get a race car. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Matt and the boys are sorting out Jet 200, uh, fixing the splitter, sorting out the gearbox, fluid issue, put new tyres on it. Rob and Nick are bleeding the Supra's brakes and sorting that out, so I'm gonna go jump in the GDR, do the flying 500. Turbo Smart, let's go. Have you got this? You've got it, right? Have you got this? I'm last. Come on, man. You're last. Oh, no, I'll be the Porsche. I'll be the oh, Mustang. Uh, I've only got 800. Alright, that's the Flying 500 by Turbo Smart, done and dusted. I think I hit 247. Not bad for a little 790 horsepower G35 Garrett on it. So, uh, pretty happy with that. Did four runs back to back, so it proves it works. A streetcar. So, uh, yeah, time to go jump back in the Super and get back out for Club Sprint again. Let's go. That's a fabricated thing, right? So, yeah. you can do hard things really easy, but the simple sh yeah. Fuck, no, I can't do that it. That is mate. you in a nutshell. Yeah. Yeah. That's straight up, man. Yeah. You want me to do an oil change? Nah, I can't do that. Sorry. Take me a couple of weeks. Yeah, you want me to put a real drive cursor? Yeah, dude, I'll do that weekend. Yeah, you need a whole tubular frame? Yeah. Down the Sarvo, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure two of them are only mechanics out of the six of us doing this. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> right, put your hand up if you've got a mechanics license. <laughs> Hello, sir, again. Hello, mate. Look who's lurking around. Richard 
sindsyn myk. It's unfortunate though, I've worn the worst clothes for lurking. <laughs> Bright yellow. Bright yellow. <laughs> Been busy? Very busy. That's Very good. busy. If you'd like it. one of these yellow ones, you can't have one when you sell out. Oh, right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That kind of busy. That kind of busy. That's a good kind of busy. Oh, here we go. See that How Tech Power GDR? It just keeps doing laps. It's killer. You see that? Flying 500. Oh, I thought you were talking about Brian's R35. I think it's all Yeah, I'm in Skyline. That's good. We've had it so far. How Tech's had a great weekend. So what happens when you've got a team? I know. Hashtag the team. You don't get, you don't get. Oi, what are you slack asses doing? We got a box to put in. <laughs> we should get motive ones. Yeah. Like that with a motive logo on it. Yeah. Embroidered across like the top of yeah. the lines, mate. Yeah. Oh. Nah, in different yeah. coloured fluff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We actually, um, we were talking yesterday about. Yeah, you know how to. You get those ones that skip all the way up to the top of your head, you have motive video across the face. Oh, yeah, across the face. Yeah, right. A couple of eye holes. Yeah, no, 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 no eye holes. No Just eye holes. Committing to the run. <laughs> <laughs> right, what you do is you motive video, but the two O's are your eyes. Ah! Hey! Hey, man, this guy needs a job. It's <laughs> motive of video, you'll have one eye up here, one here. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably more anatomic, anatomically yeah. correct. Yeah. You know, like, have oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, so dreadlocks. Get the grinder. Cut, Cut it off. Shave it. We told you not to put chewing gum in your hair. <laughs> Give me the peanut butter. <laughs> Session one, day two. Send it. That's Ready? it. That's it. Send it. Send it. it was a hectic night yeah. last night. Everyone got the job done well. Yeah, that was crazy. That was absolutely crazy. Mate, that's, that's the best thing I've ever seen. Oh, 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 oh. I haven't got that much like, tension in the air and yeah. excitement in the air, stress, adrenaline, all of it. Yeah, they, they pushed to get it done and then the tension of waiting for the call for race control of if we could go and do it like just a installation lap. Yeah. on Bozo's face right now. He's in the zone. Bolts, they're rubbed. Rubbed. Wow. Rubbed. Rubbed. You can see up here there's a lot of... Oh! I we going to Bunnings. This will pull open. So we go the welded ones. Splitter. This is going to connect to the body of the car. And then we... Turn buckle. Successful Bunnings trip? Yes. Yeah. Back on now to drill just behind it. And that's why this is safe. Borgo's gonna freak out when he sees how much tape we put on the front here. Like we've taped everything. Every gap, we taped the clothes. Because this whole front section was sucking under the, under the bumper. I, I believe this isn't the first time you've towed this car. No, no it's not. It won't be the last either. At least it's a good car to tow. It does look pretty. I got it lots of live streams. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Rowan, Rowan, Rowan's time to shine. Time to shine, baby! <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did you say? Have you seen the issue here? What is it? Look, down here. You can't see it? What is it? It's an SR. <laughs> <laughs> Julie, let's go look at the show and shine. Show and shine. Show and shine, show and shine.